They woke up one night to hear their baby crying, thinking it was a regular nighttime feed. But in the next few hours, a chain of events would begin for these parents, leading to their child being taken away from them permanently. My partner, Richard, went to feed our child and noticed blood in the mouth, and we panicked. Uh, I, I made you go and get my mum, didn't I? Because I thought she, she would know what was wrong, but she, we, 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 just, we panicked and we took him straight to the hospital because we didn't know what was wrong. At the hospital, marks were found on the baby's body. Carissa and Richard were accused of abuse. The child was taken into foster care and a family court would decide where the baby would go next. In the meantime, a criminal case of abuse was brought against the parents. For legal reasons, they can't use their baby's name. That was very hard, not having our child around us 24-7 and only seeing our child a couple of days a week for a limited amount of time, a couple of hours, sometimes an hour and a half a day. It was the most, it was the hardest thing we've ever been through. For the next two years, the couple continued to maintain their innocence, only being allowed to see their child under supervision. In the family court, the child was put up for adoption and the parents were refused legal aid as they tried to fight their case. The adoption was eventually finalised before the criminal case against the couple was heard. Yesterday, the criminal case against the couple collapsed when the court accepted there was no evidence of abuse. But their baby, now adopted, won't be returned to them. Well, I'm the couple's lawyer says he was able to present scientific evidence in the criminal court showing the bruises on the baby were actually caused by a blood disorder and rickets. But all of this information wasn't available earlier in the family court because with no legal aid, the parents had to represent themselves with no experts. When the real answer comes out through the criminal case, it's too late. And in this case, in effect, these parents not guilty of abusing their child have been handed a life sentence and that is never getting their child back. What are the possibilities that that can be overturned? Uh, I'm not a family lawyer. All I can tell you is it would be almost unique if they did. The scar on these parents is unimaginable. It is unimaginable. We didn't feel like we were listened to at all. Not at all. Everything was just went over our, you know, they went over our heads and just proceeded with the adoption. Because we had no power no. in life, that's what I believe anyway, because yeah. we're not sort of from a professional background, our voices are not heard. The couple are now trying to appeal, but they know they might never see their child again. To be innocent and not have your child returned to you, it's theft. In my eyes, they've stolen our child.